Welcome to the video sponsored by DuranRider.com. We're going to go to cycling tips. We're going to get some Paris Roubaix tech. We're going to show you the tech from Paris Roubaix, what's online, what we can see. So, land on the cycling tips straight away. Big advert. What's, what is this? A gravel bike with suspension. All right, come on. Like, like, I sell gravel bikes, man. But if someone said to me, hey, can you sell me a suspension fork from a gravel bike? I'm like, dude, if you need suspension on a gravel bike, get. A mountain bike, get a 29 a hard tail. This is hilarious. Cycling tips, mate. Ultimate sellout website. All right, let's have a look here. It's a sponsor there. Now we've got a specialized sponsorship. Uh, anyway, let's get to the let's get to the articles here. Um, all right, let's go to the tech. Okay, the tech gallery. We've got a few bikes here. So yeah, this is your, your spon this is a good sponsorship uh, coverage here. Trek, etc. Okay, we've got another advert for Fox. Scroll down here. This is the Trek. <laughs> What's this paywall? I gotta pay, you know, to see the bikes that we used in a bike race, which is what has been going on for the last twenty years. Cycling, what's the socks? What cycling is doing? How greedy can they get? Like, it's like, come on, man! Like, like, what? what this is killing. This is this is what killing cycling. Like, what new person who's trying to get into cycling is going to want to pay four bucks a month it's USD? To, you know, like it's to see marketing. It's just hilarious. Okay, let's go to cycling news. Maybe cycling news has got some some free stuff like they've always had. All right, let's go here. Van der Poel. What is, okay, so now you got to pay on cycling news. Okay, let's go to the tech then. Maybe surely the tech's got. Look at Van Baal. We got. Okay, so we get to see Van Baal's bike, and that's it. You got to, and then it's like uh, eight bucks US a month or eighty bucks USD a year. So you know, what used to be free now costs eighty bucks a year to just have a look at that basically advertisements you know we're basically now we're paying to see advertising at least youtube's free for now <laughs> What's, where's the tech where's the tech let's go to velonews.com oh velo news is also charging all right here's the bike so we can't really show you too much uh which is bad for the brands because they can't advertise their stuff as easy because these websites all you know in cahoots and just charging for what used to be free articles so we're just pictures here man Pictures of bicycles, all right. Pictures of bicycles like that is just it's so, so, you make yeah, you make your money from advertising. There's adverts all over your stuff. Like how much money do you need, man? Come on, I put out massive free content. Massive free content. Most of my content is free that I put out there. Anyway, let's look at one bike we can see. Uh, we got the we got the Domano we can see as well. This is the the bike that Van Baal won Roubaix on. Uh, you know, he was so sugared up. He was just on the sugars the whole way. The you know the water and the sugar, for his whole race pretty much. And you can see that the commentators are like, oh, he's having some nutrition. He's having some fluids. Just say it. Just say it, SBS commentators. He's having sugar and he's having water. He's p powered on sugar water, which is what you got to do to be able to do 450 watts or whatever he's doing for the last hour. Not enough sugar, not enough water. Lights go out. So it's a disc brake bike. It's basically a cyclocross bike, which is not a bad idea. It's not a bad idea because you've got this tire clearance. You run 30 mil tubeless tires from Continental with sealant, apparently. Um, you know, I don't like tubeless roads because I've got so many bikes. It doesn't work for me having tubeless latex to sealant to maintain all these bikes. But I do love tubeless uh, sealant, etc., on my gravel bike and my mountain bike. Uh, what can we see about this bike? We see that the seat is slammed forward. He's got a zero degree seat pro. He's got it slammed forward. So if you draw a straight line down there, it's just within that UCI limit of the was it 50 mil from the bottom bracket there. So he's definitely pushing it forward there. He's running a smaller frame. He's about 187. It's about 78 kilos. He's not the slightest rider out there, but he's uh, he's doing good enough um, as evidenced by the wind here. We've got, it looks like a mountain bike derailleur. Uh, so mountain bike rotor on the front there. So mountain bike rotors on the road bike. Disc brakes, you know, they don't have a choice these days. The road races, pretty much. Uh, Ineos doesn't have a choice, seems like. If you wanted a road race, you got to use disc brakes. So then that's about it. Oh, we got some here. Oh, we got some more stuff here. Okay. So we've got uh, Mohoric. Okay, so we've got um, a lock lockout here. Oh, here, no, we got, I've got some information here. Okay. So we've got a, uh, oh, we've got a free article here. We're going to freaking see some pictures for free, kids. <laughs> Again, another Shimano DI2 with a deep section wheel. Looks like we've got some tubeless tyres in there as well. Again, seats slammed forward during rider spec and run a, a line straight from the BB down. You know, got it just behind that 
that magnet there. So quite slam forward setup. More Horrix bike, aero bike. And was that reactor? That's a reactor. And um, so yeah, back going on the days of the uh, tubeless. Here we go, tubeless ready tires. A bit of sealant leaking from there. Um, oh, Thirty two more tires for the Roubaix, which makes sense for the cobbles. I've ridden those cobbles; they are quite bumpy, quite bumpy. Um, so yeah, this is the deal. So this is Matt Heyman, twenty sixteen, on a Scott foil, and now we have. Uh, yeah, everyone's running the aero bikes pretty much now. We've got other other uh, bikes to see. It's pretty hard to find out what's being used, isn't it, really? All right, here we go. Here we've got emergency gels. The bikes stacked on the roof there. Disc brakes for the win. <laughs> and we've got a stash of gels here. Just sugar. You know, got sugar here for the riders there. These are backup gels, by the way. These are backup gels. I call them emergency gels, just in case the gels the riders have... Or they miss them at the feed station. Again, this, you know, this, this is the whole race is based on sugar. Oh, it's not a sugar drink, right? This is sugar. It's sugars, man. Malted dextrin, glucose, sucrose, fructose, sugars, sugars for the win. So these are emergency gels, which people, white people say, oh, for emergency, oh, like, oh, so they don't do much. Oh, so they do a low carb. No, no, no. The emergency, the context of emergency gel, is for the riders who maybe missed a feed bag, a car bag, a sugar bag, or they didn't have enough. They ran out of gels, or ran out of sugars, and they need need, a, need another hit. So there we go. Um, you know, so they say that we plan to have everyone, at, someone at, in every sector, like a helper, team helper at the every sector with cobbles, with wheels and feeds. So sugars, we don't want to have to feed them any riders from the car because that means they'll be behind the pack. Okay, so they have people feeding the riders with sugar ahead there. Uh, that's a fully packed car, there, isn't it? Um, but the power drill. <laughs> <laughs> a power drill now. That's hilarious, isn't it? Power drill. That's just, that's just, uh, you know, it's, it's just extra, the disc brakes is just extra stress for everyone. The riders don't need it. The mechanics hate it. Wheel change sucks. You know, it's like, it's just a joke, man. It's a joke. Now they have to do, it's just extra faff, man. Extra faff so the greedy bankers can make even more money off the cycling noobs who think that the pros would choose disc brakes. I had a choice. There you go. It's a bit of, bit of power brake tech. Um, this is the Dumane, the Trek Dumane. They've ditched the uh, integrated seat post. It looks like a 27.2. It's a great idea. They've ditched the ISO speed. Great idea. It was only needed. Um, just run less PSI on your tires if you want that. And the internal cable routing, though, that's, yeah, it that looks like a bit of a faff, that one there. When I see cables going through there, I see cable rub inside that you can't really see. I see that headset changes would be a pain in the ass. You know, but hey, this is what cycling's become. It's becoming a, a pain in the ass for a lot of people. We've got a little rubber band there on the E-tap. You know, like it's just <laughs> whoever designs this stuff isn't really thinking. You know, high performance. You need a rubber band to get your battery on. And that's that's a smart idea. But whoever designed the SRAM Red E-tap stuff, the SRAM E-tap, you know, they didn't even have a backup plan because these batteries can fall out. <laughs> Which is, you know, I mean, you lose your battery. How many these batteries cost? It's hilarious. It's hilarious. So good on the. Uh, the pro team for putting that on they're not coming at the sponsors just saying well we don't lose a race uh so there's a little a little chain keeper on there as well some durace pedals which seem to work pretty well and it looks like a oh maybe it isn't a proprietary seat post hmm, interesting you know um that stem there but yeah when i see the cable the, what happens here the cables they rub they rub that point there on the handlebars can cause a, a, a failure they rub the stem as well, can cause a failure, and they rub in there, which can cause fork issues or cause a brake failure because an air leak gets in there. But again, people don't want to hear the truth. People don't want to hear the truth. Don't, don't tell me the truth. Just shut up and tell me marketing bullshit. Tell me marketing bullshit. So I've got tubeless tires there, Pirellis, and it looks like they're yeah, thick. They're good for the cobbles. Kogel bearings and the hubs there. Shram 10 cog. The dead bottom there, that chain looks sort of pretty cool. Looks like using a dry wax based stuff. Wahoo Sushi, I just saw Wahoo the other day, 200 bucks. And uh, okay, so they, they, this is cool. They keep the uh, makes it a bit easier. Then the rider can actually take the wheel off while they're waiting for service. That's, that makes sense. That makes sense. And the Trek ISO speed done because ISO speed, you know, hit and miss, good but longevity, mm, you know, a bit so so, a bit so so. So the colours there looks a yeah, decent little colour there. I think the old Damane is pretty hard to beat personally. The old rim brake one. 
but uh, hey, you know, but yeah, so there we go. That's Chloe Hoskins, and you can sort of see a difference, you know, like people think, oh, if you're a professional cyclist, you're going to be as skinny as dune riders girls are. It's like, no, 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 you can't out-train a fatty diet. You can't out-train a fatty diet. Simple as that. So just goes to show you that, uh, you know, exercise isn't enough to out-train a fatty diet. But yeah, Chloe Hoskins is one hell of a rider. You know what I mean? If I was training her, she could maybe even win the world champs on a hilly course. I could definitely get her in peak condition, unquestionably. Unquestionably. Uh, nice paint job. Trick's always got a good good paint job. I wonder, I wonder what the yellow symbolizes. The yellow uh, the yellow stuff. But, uh, yeah. Interesting stuff. There you go, gang. Yeah, Tech Roubaix from uh, Paris Roubaix. 